Hey guys, welcome to another Assassin's Creed Detective like video and in this one we're going to be looking at a confusing plot point and plot twist in Assassin's Creed 3. This is of course the plot twist that makes the least sense and is actually something of a middle finger. But I do not intend this video to hate, all it is is pointing out the plot twist and how confusing it really is. So here you have it, Assassin's Creed 3's confusing plot twist. I've been wanting to talk about this for years. Uh, before we begin, I'm going to issue a spoiler warning for all you who do not want Assassin's Creed 3 spoiled for you. I have no idea why you're looking up these videos if you haven't played through Assassin's Creed 3 or know the story. But anyway, that's out of the way now, so let's get into the video. So, Connor's story in Assassin's Creed 3 begins when he isn't but a child. And he's playing hide and seek with his friends until he manages to stray away from his friends and wind up in a bit of a situation that he's not fond of for like the rest of his life really. Connor runs into Charles Lee who threatens Connor in a very violent and suggestive way that he has something against the Mohawk people. Charles Lee gives Connor something of a warning but it's not really that well worded. After Lee was done, he drops the boy and leaves him for William Johnson to knock out. And when Connor came to, he was in a forest full of mist. By the time he got to his village, it was ablaze. Connor ran into his village in an attempt to find his mother, who unfortunately had been trapped under some wood in a burning hut, at which Connor couldn't save her and she died. Considering Charles Lee's timing and this burning of the village, Connor assumed that Charles Lee and the Templars were in fact responsible for what happened in his village and the death of his mother. This sparked a strong hatred for Charles Lee that sent Connor sort of misty eyed. He was properly, properly hating this fellow and he blamed him for the death of his mother right up until this scene. Sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait? Which is funny considering that when he saw Charles Lee, he wanted to kill him there and then. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. Alrighty, so fair enough. The plot twist reveals that George Washington is in fact responsible for the burning of Connor's village. And thus, Connor has hated Charles Lee for a little bit of racial abuse and strangling in a forest, which, in the grand scheme of Assassin's Creed, is quite minimal. Of course, after that, Connor does have something of a resentment for George Washington as well, but he never acts on it and gets justice. A plot twist is meant to change the direction of the story, however this one did nothing. Connor still assisted the Patriots and George Washington, 
and still hunted the Templars, including, and most importantly, Charles Lee. But what about Washington, who'd now wronged Connor just as much, as if not more, than any other man that he's killed? Don't worry guys, Connor exacted his revenge on Washington over a nice game of bocce. Gotta love that taste of revenge, Connor. In fairness, Charles Lee still had death coming, and Connor was just delivering it, because... Regardless of whether or not he killed Connor's mother, he was still a bit of a dingus. But I find it really funny that Connor did not act on the information that he found out when he discovered that George Washington killed his mother by burning the village. He didn't act on that at all. He didn't go, oh right, okay, time to get revenge on this guy now. Had he done it and had he known the first time, he'd be his target and he'd be hellbent on doing it. But Connor, because he'd already been used to hating Charles Lee for that, he still did and did not change to any form of hatred towards George Washington. Although in fairness, he did have something of a disliking for him afterwards, and you could tell that through their conversations. But Connor kept a lid on it and actually helped George Washington in more ways after this discovery of information. And just as well, he played bocce with him. Man, I do love a good plot twist that doesn't alter the story in many ways at all, and everything just goes in the same direction, regardless, that's, that's beautiful, brilliant, brilliant. And there you have it, my sweet lads, that's a simple pointing out of the plot twist that makes little to no sense in the grand scheme of things in Assassin's Creed 3. So, thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, let you, me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future Assassin's Creed Detective-like videos, please let me know. It could be anything from mysteries to pointing stuff out. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one with another video. So, yeah. So long.